guys, we are back to actually see what this looks like in the tub. Uh, there's our candle, so I will go ahead and get it lit. There's a little bird up there. Lately, the birds around here have been going crazy. Like, I, I feel like thousands of birds landed in my tree yesterday and it's almost deafening <laughs> but there's our selenite a little candle putter outer <laughs> i don't know what it is i have another little crystal here which probably looks familiar to somebody um and then yeah these little containers I guess I will talk about those in a second. All right, so let's go ahead and get this in the water. Um, sorry my bathtub looks terrible, but I will say after all of my experiments of putting so much stuff in my, in my bathtub, in multiple bathtubs even at that, like I've had all kinds of different bathtubs. Oh. Uh, I have never <laughs> stained a bathtub. Um, whether it's with my own experiments or even with products that I have purchased. But what you just saw over there was actually a Lush Jelly Balm. I don't remember which one. It might have been Dark Arts. But it stained, it stained my bathtub. Uh, and that has been that way for about... A year and a half now so definitely not coming out <laughs> but this is what we have and this is why I like to do it the way I do it because I just love all of this foam as you can see my herbs are not gonna escape and get all over me or the water so this full moon is the largest, brightest of the year. And it won't even be pink, you guys. <laughs> That's kind of sad, but yeah, it won't, it won't be pink. The name actually comes from uh, a pink flower. That springs, spring, it's spring, yeah, well it does. It comes from a pink flower that blooms in the springtime called phlox. In case you didn't know that. But yeah, let's see. Can we see any of that gold I put in here? Oh yeah. We can get all the... There you go. In there. Anyway, the real reason, I mean, you can kind of see from me playing around what has happened here, but the real reason why I use some of the things I do, like the SLSA and the Poly 80, is for that. So I am going to run some more water in here and show you what happens. <laughs> Alright, so now we have this enormous pile of bubbles. And even though I have filled the bathtub, we still have beautiful pink water. I've always thought it's easier to see all the glitters once it's actually more full. So yeah very sparkly down there. Alright, so before I go, I did say I would talk about these. This is from Olive Leaf and Cauldron on Etsy. They're the cutest little containers and I had requested for her to make me some of these for the full moons. 
Um, but with everything that's going on now, I, I haven't been buying any. I decided to make my own also. This is a very tiny, tiny little container, okay? And you can see how much water I put in my bathtub. Like, if I come in here, it's gonna be full. So, the actual amount of salt in here isn't a lot. And once it gets put into the water, it's even less. So, you know, it, it's really not doing a lot. <laughs> Uh, as you can see, I I mean, like I obviously didn't fill this pitcher all the way full or anything, but but my my stuff would have filled up a few of those containers, and so for ten dollars, I I was just like me, and you know I enjoy having the milk powder in there, I enjoy having the bubbles, mostly I like the color, okay. Like, I want the color to match, you know, just like you would candles and stuff. I want it to match whatever event that I'm going for. So, uh, I do recommend Olive Leaf and Cauldron. Um, she is very sweet. She will do what you want her to do, like, if you have any requests. Uh, I just think that little container is not, not enough <laughs> for my bathtub. <laughs> Not, not enough for a greedy person like me, but yeah, I, I like to also just customize it and, you know, put some crystals in, put some flowers, put some herbs. I mean, I guess when it comes down to it, if you, I mean, and these are $10, by the way, $10 for the little container. And I'm not saying it's not worth it. I mean, you get a little charm, you get... I, I, like, I'm not faulting her for the price at all. Like, even bath bombs, you know? You're, you're planning to pay 5 to $10 per bath. And... I don't know. At this point, I decided I have so much stuff. <laughs> I may as well be using my own. And so this is what we got for the, the pink moon this month. I've always loved this color. Um, I did put a link up on the last video showing me making it, but this um, came from Two Wild Hairs on Etsy, like the dye. But yeah, I think that's it. You can see the bubbles stick around. Um, I did not ever use like just milk powder in my bath bombs when I was selling them, and this is why. Um, if you... Okay, you can get milk powder to bubble while you're running the water, but then it just pretty much immediately is going to disappear. It's not going to stick around while you're taking your bath, but like the SLSA and the poly, it, it, it makes bubbles that stay around. No fun to play in. <laughs> alright, alright, I'll, I'll stop. Anyway, I hope you guys have a great full moon.